while we wouldn't normally cover the exciting world of tyre inflators, the Fantic Apex X8 is such a useful gadget that I've decided to make an exception. See, not only is this the easiest to use, fastest automatic tyre inflator I've ever seen, it charges over USB-C, it can reverse charge other devices, and it has a built-in emergency torch with SOS mode. I'm James Bruce, you're watching MUO Reviews, and this is the Apex X8. And this inflatable unicorn ain't gonna inflate itself. Arriving with a handy carry bag, hose, and needle adapter, the first thing you'll notice about the Apex X8 is how small it is at a mere 2.5 inches square by 7.8 inches tall. It has a big bright screen here which shows the target pressure, current pressure, and current preset if you have one selected, and the battery level. It's bright, it's clear, it's very simple to understand. On the inflation side of things, the Apex X8 is an automatic compressor in most cases, meaning you can set the desired pressure anywhere up to 150 PSI, turn it on, and when it reaches that pressure, it will shut itself off. So you don't need to worry about things being overinflated. Now this pressure sensing feature works for any high pressure things. However, it won't work for things like beach balls, pool inflatables, simply because the air pressure inside of there is too low to be measured in that way. But that doesn't mean to say you can't use it for inflatable unicorns or beach balls. That's simply that you'll need to manually sort of check it often and obviously don't overinflate the thing. Work to the manufacturer's guidelines or when you think is appropriate to stop it. It's incredibly simple to use though for bike or car tires. Just use the presets or manually adjust them as needed. You can change it between bar or PSI or KPA. And sure enough, once it hits your target pressure, it just shuts off. You don't need to stick around and watch it while it does its thing. It's fast too, requiring less than a minute, 30 seconds I'd say, to fully inflate one of these bike tires. Um, or just you know less than a minute to top up a car tire, though probably sort of five minutes to fully inflate a car tire. It is quite loud. I mean, ramming air into anything pneumatically in general tends to be loud, but my watch measured it uh, about 75 dB uh, in the vicinity of the motor. So not quite dangerous, but it's certainly not something you'd want to do uh, at night or in public on a beach. You know, it's quite annoying. Unfortunately, you can't inflate massive things like this unicorn airbed which after 30 minutes and all of the 7,800 milliamp hour battery was still a bit limp. 30 minutes of active use then is roughly what you can expect. So if your tire takes two minutes to inflate, well, you can do that maybe 10, 15 times before it needs recharging again. Officially, they state up to three or four car tires worth, 13 bike tires worth, and 80 basketballs worth. But obviously that depends how deflated or big your balls are. Phrasing. Gotta be honest though, I don't have any balls to test this on. Oh my god. Let's face it, a flat tyre is never fun and while you might have an AC powered inflator at home, manual pumps when you're on the go are really quite tedious and tiring. On the downside, at the price of $120, I think it could have done with a hard case rather than a soft fabric one. A couple of times I've had it accidentally activated because the power button has been squished in the back of the car. Other than that, it's worked like a dream. And when I felt the pressure was a tad low, it's so easy just to top it back up again in 30 seconds or less. So should you buy one? Since it includes both a flashlight and a USB connector for use as a backup supply for your phone or other small devices, I think this is easy to justify as an emergency item to put in your backpack or even in the back of a car for those family trips. It's well designed, it's tough, it's hard wearing. And here's the highest praise I can give to any device. Along with a portable solar panel, this is now a permanent part of my trip bag. Please hit like and consider subscribing if you found this review useful. I'm James Bruce, you've been watching MUO Reviews, and I'll see you next time.